Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. The last one we want to know is how much chilled water in pounds per hour. So another rule of thumb, now for the water side, we talked about Q sensible equals 1.08 CFM delta T. That's a rule of thumb we use over and over again. Another one that's extremely common on the water side is the heat load equals 500 GPM delta T. Same principle, different constant since it's water, and the units we end up with are GPM for the flow rate. The question asks for pounds per hour, but if we can get the answer in GPM, we can pretty easily change that to pounds per hour. So what's the delta T? We know that, that was given to us, 42 supply and 52 return. So the delta T is 10 degrees. The total heat load, we wanna use this 371 number because we wanna include the outside air piece. And that's all we need to get the GPM. So let's rearrange. And I'm using the units as the variable, which is annoying to some people, but you'll forgive me. And when you use these rule of thumb formulas, the units are all baked into the constant so that things magically work out to the right units as long as you go in with the right unit. So delta T has to be degrees Fahrenheit, Q has to be in BTUs per hour, and obviously the flow rate is GPM. Since we don't even call it flow rate, we actually write GPM as the variable. That's why I don't bother to write the units when I make the substitutions, even though I'm a stickler about writing units like what we did up here, where we're adapting a formula and then making substitutions based on something we came up with on the spot. So 371,000 over 500, and the delta T is 10. So that's 74.3 GPM. And now we just have to do some unit conversions. I'm gonna write that as gallons per minute. And we're gonna to wanna to get into hours, so 60 minutes in an hour. That'll get rid of minutes. And now we need to go from gallons to pounds. Turns out that a gallon of water weighs about 8.34 pounds, assuming it's liquid water at a reasonable temperature. And that gets rid of gallons. And let's give ourselves a variable here. We'll call this m dot mass flow rate of chilled water equals 37,200 pounds per hour. And that is the last answer we need.